you could work out what the prehistory mystery that you've just been looking at is. What it is, is a container made of birch bark and it's hollow on the inside so it looks like a tree but it's from a tree it's been made into a special container and it's been stitched with sinew just there and it's been glued at the bottom with Stone Age glue. You can see the base on there so it's a little bit like a tin can except in the Stone Age of course they wouldn't have had metal. And inside the container were two stones. Now this one I think you probably know what that is. I think you know that that is a piece of flint. But this one is a little bit different. This, the proper name for it, is iron pyrites or marcasite. And if you look, as I move it around, you should see it twinkling and maybe glowing. And it looks a little bit like gold. Now if you thought it was gold, I'm afraid you've been fooled. Because this is what we call fool's gold. Now, in the Stone Age, they didn't know how to make shapes out of metal. They couldn't make tools out of metal, not yet. But they did have minerals and lumps of metal like iron pyrites lying around in the ground. And if they knew what to look for, if you look on the outside of it, it looks a little bit like a meatball, doesn't it? And they would know to look for those things, and they knew that if they split them in two, you would see this goldy coloured stuff on the inside. If you took your piece of flint and you struck it against the iron pyrites, the fool's gold, really hard, it would make sparks, and those sparks would make fire. So the reason that the prehistory mystery that you've just been looking at had this stuff, this is just dried up old leaves and bits of plant and grass in there, is because that's what you'd use for lighting your fire, that's the tinder that you would use for lighting your fire. And in the bottom of the container I've even put some powdered fungus. Some powdered fungus which would also help light my fire, some tinder fungus. So those things together would help you light a fire. And to keep your fire lighting kit dry, to stop it getting wet, you might wrap it up. Now of course you didn't have plastic or polythene in the Stone Age, but they did have something that could keep it dry. And I think I've mentioned to you before that most children like to know about yucky things, and there were lots of yucky things in the Stone Age. Well, one of the things you could use for keeping things dry is this stuff. And this is an animal's gut. It's an animal's intestine, and it's been treated and tanned with tree bark soaked in water. That's why it's gone brown, and that stops it going all mouldy and smelly. And that is quite waterproof, animal gut. And you can put that over the top of the container, like that. Get your piece of animal, get your, sorry, get your piece of Stone Age string, wrap it around, pull it tight, and that would keep your fire lighting kit dry so you could light a fire when you needed your tea. So that prehistory mystery was a fire lighting kit. And if you look in Stone Age Boy, the book, one of the pages in that book, you will see about how they made fire. 